My scuff discount code is currently 10% off all the way till the end of Cyber Monday. If you guys ever wanted to buy a scuff controller, now is the time. 10% discount is the first time they've ever offered a 10% discount. So if you guys want to buy yourself a scuff controller, save you a bunch of money in specific, make sure you guys buy a controller in the next week and use code TRAPGOD for a 10% discount. If you guys need help buying a controller, you have any questions about the Vantage Impact or 4PS, you guys can leave a comment down below or reply to it or tweet me at TrapGods here with any questions you have. I would love to help you guys buy a controller, but let's hop into the video. All right, what's up guys? In today's video, we're taking a look at some attachments as well as a class setup for the AUG. As most of you guys should know, this gun was recently buffed in the last patch. It's one of the few weapons that has received a buff in Modern Warfare. What they did, as you guys can see on the screen, they increase the close range damage as well as the mid range damage and they reduce the chest multiplier. So it got a little bit of a nerf, but it got a big damage buff. Now, the one thing about this gun that I think is the biggest positive, it is one of the most accurate, if not the most accurate gun that I've currently used in the game. When I've used it with a certain two attachments, the recoil is literally zero. So this gun's absolutely amazing in a lot of ways. And you know, like I said, the biggest positive is the accuracy. There's a few negatives. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over basically everything, breaking down what I think are the best attachments, what attachments you shouldn't use, and you know, just a few basic reasons why you should use this gun and why you shouldn't, in order to you know help you guys figure out what's best for you and why or you should not use this weapon. So, like I said, the best positive is this gun's absolutely incredible. For accuracy so if you're looking for a gun that's never gonna miss this is definitely it there's an absolutely extreme negative about this weapon it does only come with 25 bullets as well as the ammunition which is going to you know give you a 32 round mag basically you're gonna get seven bullets in exchange to get a slower movement speed and a slower ads speed which in my opinion is absolutely terrible and then the next thing is the 556 ammo is gonna reduce your fire rate in exchange for giving you a little bit more range and a little bit more damage so your accuracy is going to go down, your fire rate is going to go down, and your recoil is going to go up. So it's kind of a big negative in my opinion. And then obviously if you had the 60 round drum, you're basically going to get a lot of ammo, but you're going to get extremely slow movement speed and extremely slow ADS speed. So both of the 5.56 as well as the 60 round drum I personally do not recommend, or the 32 round mag I don't recommend. The 5.56 ammo, you're not really going to notice that big of a difference. That's probably the biggest thing about it. It does increase your damage, does increase your range, but I don't significantly notice it that much. So the number one attachment on this class in specific that I highly recommend for the AUG in specific is the compensator. It is going to reduce your recoil control. It's definitely the most significantly noticeable attachment that you, you get a big benefit from. Obviously your ADS speed is gonna go down, your aiming stability is going down. So in order to counter the stability going down, we're gonna add the commando foregrip which is gonna increase your recoil stabilization and your aiming stability. So it's gonna counter that. So you're gonna get an increase in your recoil control, your stability and your stabilization. So all the three things that are gonna increase the gun's accuracy is gonna go up. You're gonna get a little bit less movement speed. So back again, once talking about what makes this gun a big negative is going to be one of the slowest moving SMGs. If not the slowest, a lot of the attachments significantly reduce the movement speed which is a big negative. Now, obviously, like I said, on pretty much every single class, if not every single one, I run the stipple grip tape, increases my aim to sight, aim down sight speed, my sprint to fire speed. Obviously, I'm gonna run on this weapon because a lot of the attachments are negating that. It is the only attachment I ever use in the rear grips. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is going to be the extended barrels. We're talking about the long barrels. We have the 622 millimeter long barrel, which is gonna give you a bit more range is gonna give you a little bit better accuracy in exchange for a worse movement speed. Like I said, the biggest thing about this gun is it does have a big negative in movement speed and we already have a couple attachments giving us a worse movement speed. So the reason I don't use the long barrel, the 6.2 millimeter, is in exchange, you're gonna get a worse movement speed for a minimal increase to your range and accuracy. Like I said, this gun already has amazing accuracy. The 6.2 millimeter is gonna give you a little bit better accuracy, a little bit more range. But to become an LMG player now with an SMG is gonna be a big negative. So I personally use only the 407 millimeter, which is basically the baby version, because it doesn't have any negatives. Obviously the ADS speed, but I have the quick draw attached to negate that. So you get an increase in range and an increase in recoil. So I find that to be the best for attachments. Like I said, this gun, the biggest negative in my opinion is the attachments. It doesn't have a lot of attachments that you can add that are gonna make it significantly better. Like I said, the accuracy attachments you add as well as the range you're gonna be adding makes this gun amazing. 
So the last attachment I'm going to choose to prefer to run is either going to be the stock for the quick draw, which is your ADS speed increase, or I'm going to be adding where your aim walking movement speed is a little bit higher. So basically when you're strafing with your L trigger down, you can be able to move a little bit faster because it's going to help you win more gunfights in my opinion, or the one that's going to make you aim a little bit faster. But that's probably the biggest negative about this is the attachments aren't really that well. So basically my class sub, you guys can see on the screen, I'm going to be the compensator the 407 long barrel, the Commando 4 grip, the stubble grip tape, and I'm gonna be running the TAC CQB comb just because I like to have a good ADS speed. The only reason my ADS speed is actually decent is because I'm adding the stock that increases that. So this is mainly a close range class setup, but is what I think is the best attachment. So hopefully this video does help you guys out, makes your class setups a little bit better. If you guys did enjoy, you want to subscribe to the channel, I very much appreciate it. We're trying to get to 1K subs by the end of the year. So if you guys have not hit that sub button yet, I would very much appreciate it. Comment down below what class setup you guys are using on the AUG. What attachments are you guys using? As well as make sure you guys do like the video if you did enjoy. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.